All of my action figures are cherries. Hey everybody, Tony Beers here. This is Tony's Toy Chest Toy Review. And I got a special guest star, the RK Stud here. And he's going to tell us about a figure that he got. Take it, RK. Hey everyone. Recently I was able to do some toy shopping. And I bought two Star Trek figures. And I bought two different figures of Scotty. I'm not normally a Star Trek fan. However, I am a Simon Pegg fan. And, and in fact, the movie was really good. I, I don't think I really would have bought these figures unless anyone else had played Scotty. Because Simon Pegg did a wonderful job on it. But the movie was also really good too. So maybe down the road I might be purchasing other figures. We don't know right now. Everybody likes their own thing. I personally, I like both Star Trek and Star Wars. I probably like Star Wars a little bit more, but I am a fan of both. Anything else you have to say? Um, good news for me was, you know, I got, I got both figures, you know, my total investment, $8.23. And That's a good deal. You, you rarely can find any good toys for under 10 bucks. Let alone two. Oh yeah, especially for that. Where'd you buy them? The three inch one was three twenty three three twenty four at Walmart. And the six inch one five dollars at my local big lots. Also you could buy these toys at bigbadtoystar.com. dot com. I'm sure you can find them from a good price on there as well. So let's take a look at Robin's review of the Star Trek Scotty figures, six inch and three inch. Nice. Three and a quarter inch figures. Here's the video. Okay, here we see the three and a quarter inch Scotty, Simon Pegg. Here you can see the shirt design is kind of like more in the classic mode, kind of detailish. Of course, with the um, phaser in hand. And of course, bonus, the uh, Enterprise Bridge Part B11. But now that they've discontinued it, the whole bridge will never actually be completed, unfortunately. He's also got a little Starfleet emblem that he can stand on. He's got holes in the bottom of the feet just to stand on it. Wow. We turn it back. There's the whole Galaxy Collection figures. There's what the bridge is supposed to look like. Overall, it's such nice, really detail for these little small figures. And here on the back, there's pictures of all the other ones that are in the line, all the other figures. Right there is a nice picture of the completed bridge, but for my collection, I'm not going to complete the bridge. I just bought it because it's Simon Pegg. Okay, so you guys can see uh, this Star Trek figure fits in good with any three and three quarter inch figure, and uh, you can see it fits in good with the Star Wars toy lines. So if you want an adventure, you're pretending that you, Captain Kirk comes into the Star Wars universe, you can have him come in and, and hit on Princess Leia if you want. So if Captain Kirk ever saw Princess Leia in her Slave Leia costume, she, he would definitely try to hit that. So if you're like me, who is a fan of both Star Trek and and Star Wars you might want to display these together because they do fit well together okay guys now here's the six inch figure of Scotty as you can see he's a little more standing hey he's got the phaser in hand the red looks like he's in an action pose the shirt is definitely textured can't see I gotta turn it right here but there's the stand for him to stand on again it's not really gonna matter because in my collection he just stays in I know I'm a dull boring guy I know he also comes with the communicator then he's got a belt and on the box it says fully articulated and posable he actually does look kind of nice, but the face, I, I i just don't see the Simon Pegg face in him. And in the back, again, they're showing all the figures that are in the warp collection for this particular piece. And also get a phaser, which and a tricorder and a communicator. So those are some of the upcoming products that they might be having, or they might be already out. I'm not too sure on that. And you stand these up side by side. I think they're fine in my collection. I don't have a problem with either one of them. Um, overall, overall, I would give the, give these two a B plus. Maybe I'll get some more of the other ones down the road. I'm not too sure yet, but I think it's a nice little toy. These are great figures. I have to say, in my opinion, I'm just a little disappointed by the sculpt, especially in the taller figure. The, the smaller figure actually looks more like Simon Pegg to me. Personally, I prefer six inch figures to the, the three and three quarter inch figures because you can do more with that you can see more detail as you can see in this in the six inch figures you can see texture on his shirt which you don't have in the three and three quarter inch figure and these figures look okay for what they are but in my opinion I would not pick these up because first of all I'm not that big of a Star Trek fan and secondly the biggest things that I look for in 
figures is the sculpt and the detail. These are are okay. They're not the best. My grade on these would be probably be a C minus. But anyone who is a Trekkie or who loves Star Trek or who like Robin here is just a fi fan of Simon Pegg would enjoy picking these up. And you can get these figures also at BigBagToyStore.com. I'll put a link in the side and you can go check them out. Okay, thanks very much, uh, RK Stud, for that video of your three and three quarter inch Galaxy Galaxy um, Star Trek Scotty figure and the six inch Warp Warp Scotty action figures. Uh, any, any final thoughts? Well, I, you know, I thought you were just a little bit harsh in your grading. I mean, those two are little fun little figures. I mean, especially the way he made Scotty in the film. Uh, you know, but again, but of course, I'm not a reviewer like you, where you, you can be a little bit harsher, and I, I would be privileged to be doing some more toy videos with you. I'm glad to hear that. We'll we'll have maybe have some in the future. We'll see how this goes. Thanks a lot. And I'm Tony Beers. Okay, stud. And we'll see you next time.